I told you I'd clean myself up part way, okay? I'd cut the pornography out of my life. But you also see that I really wasn't lining up with God's standards. And I began to see that there were some real bills piling up in my life, kind of some invoices with God. And I was starting to really notice the prices that the sexual sin was paying in my life or charging. First thing it had to do with God, uh, I was beginning to feel more and more distant from him. Okay, here's this God that saved me. I mean, I told you the story and then, you know, he spoke to me. This is the girl you're going to marry. I mean, I was hearing from him. I was connected with him. Now it just felt like I was getting more and more distant, like there's this little veil that was getting thicker and thicker between us. And I, I really didn't completely know what was going on, but it was starting to really bother me. And, and, but there was one thing in specific that I knew was going on, and it's this. I mean, I knew I couldn't look him in the eye and pray anymore. There had been so many times I had said, Lord, I'm going to stop this sexual sin. I'm going to stop it all. And then t three days later, two days later, I'm right back at it. And, you know, after 300, 400 times like that, you're saying to yourself, there's no way he can even possibly stand me coming back to him in prayer and talking to him about this anymore.